Hey everyone, Captain here. Checking in with a quick video. Wanted to talk a little bit about uh, a recent promise George made. Now, as most of you will recall, George put out a video promising that he will address this shit. And we all know the value of a Yared promise. I think uh, the Bank of New York Mellon knows the value of a Yared promise. Mike Saunders knew the value of a Yared promise, which is why he wouldn't uh, give him money for uh, a pissed on dog rug or um, let him use his car or his laptop because he knew that George wouldn't follow through because he follows through on nothing. Now, he made the video promising a video, and then he made another video promising a video. And since that time, there has been no video, which is not a shock. Because really, what is he going to say? He's completely defeated. Angela emasculated him with those voicemails. It proved the allegation that I made that he can't do anything on his own, that he has to beg for someone to help him. He begged Angela for money. <laughs> he was groveling for money to pay for, I can't remember if it was insurance or a car payment or whatever, but he was begging and he was resorting to threats. He was threatening a woman that had stood by him and helped him because he couldn't do it on his own. He was trying to browbeat her into giving him money. That's who this person is. Now, he feels strong enough to beg, or I'm sorry, to threaten Angela. But when it comes to Mike or Kevin or somebody else, and that's when he resorts to begging. Oh, please, Kevin, please. Oh, give me some money. Help me make this video and address this shit. Please. Oh, please. I can't do it otherwise, Kevin. Please help me. Help me, Vince. <laughs> it's like when, when he got in that car accident, the first person he called was Vince. Because he knows Vince is a nice guy and Vince will come to his aid and rescue little baby George who can't do anything on his own. And I think part of that is another reason why this video will never be made because he couldn't do it without Kevin. And Kevin probably is just pushing him off with any excuse he can because Kevin does want to be mired down with this dumb shit. And little baby George is just begging Kevin to please, please help me, Kevin, please. Amusingly, in, shortly after he made the promise of that video, uh, he began to be bombarded with bad reviews for his book. And then the ultimate happened just uh, a couple days ago. This. His book has been pulled for review. So he was bragging about his sales, which we know isn't true because if he was making all that money off that book, it would be rising in the sales rankings on Amazon. And it's not. But now, let's pretend like it is. it had made him some money. It's making zero dollars. Zero. Because Amazon has pulled it for review. This is probably a play by Marty. Using his, his power, his wealth, his authority. To contact the bigwigs at Amazon. And yank that bastard of a book. So there it is. Plain as day. The goons winning yet again. Every victory that George thinks he has within his grasp, where he's beating his chest, he's really beating his bloated head against the wall. As we see here. And that is why there will be no response video. Because he can't do it on his own, and even if he could, he's too cowardly. If he had an answer, he would have put it out there a long time ago. It wouldn't be weeks later after he promised this video because he's got nothing saying you're going to do this saying you're going to do that <laughs> you ain't going to do nothing and there it is the value of a Yared promise anyway it's all I got this is the captain in my warm house signing off